E from uh, I, uh, I uh, got my PhD from US. Actually, at that time when I before I went to US, I'm really hesitated at that time. You know, say, oh, I have to stay there for four years, and I have to study all the courses, and I leave my family. I'm really at that time. I really do not face very just a, a big challenge. Should I go or not? But finally, I decide. Okay, I go. <laughs> And I stayed in the US for four years, finally got my PhD. I come, I, and then I came back to ZJUT, Zhejiang University of Technology, and study and work here. And uh, after this year's work experience, you know, I'm really, you know, appreciate that I went to US for four years study. Because this four years study, I have the international view when I think about the problems, solve problems, I have an international view to understand the different culture. And also I learned a lot of, you know, uh, advanced science and the technologies. That's really helped me in my work and research. So till now, I really appreciate that I stayed there for four years. So I hope that all you guys, you know, China now is, you know, almost the, the, the you know, the fastest developing country. And uh, when you arrive here, you can see lots of, you know, totally different, you know, and developments or any, you know, different manufacturing and everything, construction, everything in China. You can, you know, experience lots of totally different, you know, uh, just the study or living or, you know, or some, uh, uh, I, I don't know, activities and everything, okay, you will have very different experience. So just the, from my experience, I hope all you guys just come to China, come to College of Mechanical Engineering to see advanced manufacturing, advanced technologies, uh, in China, in ZJUT. And uh, later, I just stop here, and later, you know, uh, Professor Pei will introduce the uh, details of, uh, of our college, okay, College of Mechanical Engineering. Now we already have four uh, national level undergraduate programs. So let's, you know, in China, uh, usually very few colleges, it has a you know, total four national level programs in one college. So just welcome your first. And now I just give, just let, let uh, Professor pay to give details introduction. Thank you very much. Hello guys. Hello. Uh, uh, I'm Paige from the College of Mechanical Engineering and uh, also the of the Foreign Affairs Office of the Mechanical Engineering College. So I would like to uh, share my screen for the moment. Uh, have a slide. So uh, can, you, can, you see, can you see the slide? Actually, yes. There was, yeah. Yes, yes, we can see it. Okay. So, uh, so let, let's see, that's a brief introduction of the College of Mechanical Engineering at ZJUT. Uh, and the CME here represents the College of uh, Mechanical Engineering. So that's the outline of the presentation. The first is the overview of our college. And the second one is the education uh, uh, in College of Mechanical Engineering. The third one is the campus life. So uh, uh, this is the, you know, the, uh, our uh, overview picture of our college building that is uh, located in the Pingfong campus of JJUT. And we had a uh, old um, engineering building in the Zhaohui campus, which is now no longer used by our college. Uh, uh, but still, uh, uh, you, you can see the M ME in, on top of the building. So uh, here is the general information of our College of Mechanical Engineering 
Uh, you can see that we were founded in the 1953, and uh, we had a, uh, we had a, you know. Nine, uh, 69 professors, uh, 83 associate professors, and uh, uh, you know ne nearly 300 teachers and staff in total. And our students uh, uh, have, you know, the scale of our students is uh, reached uh, uh, 1,880 undergraduate students and 2,283 graduate students. And we have 85 international students in our college. So, uh, for you to consider uh, the opportunity to study in our mechanical engineering college is that uh, we have a, a stable visa approval rate in our region. So, uh, so uh, and also we have a, a perfect teaching system in our college. We uh, employ the advanced teaching equipment and also internationalize the teaching methods. And, uh, you know, uh, we offered complete scholarships uh, to the students who have achieved the great uh, academic achievements. So uh, uh, if you have excellent GPA, you can, you can be always be considered as the recipient of our scholarship. So that's, uh, uh, you know, has been introduced before. So I would just uh, skip this, you know, the beautiful sceneries and the delicious food, uh, our like business card. We always show them to the, our foreign friends. You can see that the West Lake and the, you know, the dawn sceneries of the city. You can see the skyline of our city, scrapes, scrapers, and we have delicious foods. That's really delicious. But you know, sometimes it's uh, a little bit different from, uh, from a local cuisine, but uh, it was worth to test them uh, now, and, now, now and then. You know. So, uh, the second part of my presentation is about education in our college. Um, so there are two key disciplines in our college. By disciplines, we mean the majors. So the first one is mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering uh, was, uh, was uh, granted the first class discipline in Zhejiang province. So that's the like the first batch in the province uh, that's for the years uh, 2016 to 2020, and it's also the most important first level discipline in Zhejiang Province. And we uh, we are also uh, the Zhejiang Province most important subject, uh, including the advanced manufacturing technology and equipment, mechatronics, engineering, and we are among the first level or first class peak discipline of Zhejiang University of Technology. And we also have the second uh, key discipline, which is the power engineering and engineering thermodynamics. So about the ranking, so, uh, the mechanical engineering um, was ranked nationally uh, the, uh, B plus, which is among the top 20, 10 to 20% of the entire, you know, the universities in, in China. Uh, so that's the uh, brief introduction for the undergraduate program. So we have uh, in all like uh, se seven uh, disciplines in our college for the mechanical engineering and also the process equipment and the control engineering. So uh, the mechanical engineering uh, offers the um, English program that the, all the courses in the mechanical engineering are um, given in English, are taught in English. We also passed the Washington Accord and the, the engineering education accreditation so uh, mechanical engineering is the national level first class undergraduate uh, building majors, which means that the, the, uh, the MOE, the Ministry of Education invests uh, to our mechanical engineering subjects in, the, in our CME. And also we are the uh, nat national level characteristic majors and the comprehensive reform pilot majors. And the first batch of excellent en engineering education and the training by also by MOE. So we uh, this year we um, uh, promote a brand new uh, discipline which is named the robot robotic engineering. So uh, if you are interested, you can also select courses from that uh, uh, major. So which are not uh, uh, exclusively in English, but also if you are interested, you can still uh, select the course. So uh, about the course. So for the uh, mechanical engineering, um, which is uh, provided solely in English, 
uh, we can see that for first year students, uh, we offer the calculus, physics, engineering, graphics, and also English. And uh, because we are um, aiming at hands-on knowledge, we uh, want to uh, uh, offer a program with applications, with practical um, perspectives. So we also offer the engineering training, electronic training, machine cost measurement training, and concept design. And for the second year, we offer the courses in statics, mechanics of materials, algebra and statics, uh, fluid mechanics, thermal engineering, machine theory, etc. And also you can see that the, the red uh, letter, red, red words means that these courses are related with the practice, with the engineering applications. So here uh, in this slide, you can see that we have, uh, we have achieved several teaching achievements. So um, like 11 uh, courses have been selected into the national and the provincial excellent courses. And we have uh, published, published like six national planned textbooks so far. So, um, and you can see that we have many international level and national level provincial student competition awards that have been um, you know, obtained by our students. So uh, uh, I'm sorry for that, it's in Chinese, but I can translate to you that uh, for, international, uh, complete, uh, um, for international competitions, we have uh, won the, uh, like the second prize of the college student mathematic modeling competition and also uh, the other design uh, competition. And for national level, we have the uh, internet plus, you know, the, for the Chinese students, extracurricular, like, and also the entrepreneurship uh, competition, like the first prize and the second prize. So I will not list them all for, for you here. So for the master program, uh, we ha also have this uh, mechanical engineering and the power engineering and the thermodynamics um, majors. And uh, we also have a doctoral program. So if you guys are interested in pursuing higher degree, that you can stick with us and uh, you know we can provide you with master programs and also doctor programs so we have uh, several research institutes and these are the headshots of our directors of the institutes that you can see in this slide so we have this mechanic me uh, mechatronics engineering advanced manufacturing design technology vehicle engineering industrial engineering and so on so uh, as for the research funding, we have grasped uh, like a year, yearly increase in funding. Like in 2020, we have uh, 113 million uh, RMB yuan. So for the research achievements, we have several research uh, directions that if you are interested, you can find uh, professors or research groups to join in during your study here. So we have new energy technology, automatic uh, postage systems, life quality improvement, uh, laser and remanufacturing, and so on. So for new energy technology, you can see that we have deployed the, the solar panels and uh, outdoors to uh, connect, uh, you know, to uh, collect the sunshine to trans transfer transform them into our daily use use the electricity energy. So we have uh, this national uh, awarded National Technological Invention Award for the automatic postage system. The postage system have, has been uh, used widely in China and uh, uh, provide a high efficient uh, delivery and uh, uh, sortation of the daily po postage, posts or like letters and uh, postcards uh, in the postage system. And we also emphasis on the life quality improvement. Uh, we use the 3D printing or the additive manufacturing technology to print uh, the human uh, bones and teeth and other, other human organizations to uh, provide healthcare, uh, like to, the, uh, to uh, also um, promote the social welfare. Yes, I can see some, some marks of the audience that on the screen. So, if you have any questions, we can uh, discuss them later on. I can see the arrow, red arrow. You guys can see that. So uh, for, for other uh, aspects, we have this technology for key pr uh, pressure vessel. And the key pressure vessel is a very important key equipment in the 
like the nuclear plants and the other you know, uh, gas transportation industry. Uh, we have been awarded the National Scientific and Technological Award for Key Pressure Vessel. And about this laser energy manufacturing, uh, that's our uh, like our key uh, progress right now. We have been awarded the Chinese Machine Industry Science and Technology Award for this uh, laser production or, or laser additive production. And we also have designed and uh, produced the engineering equipment um, all by our students and uh, in collaboration with the industry in Hangzhou and also in Zhejiang province. Um, as you can see that we also provided a summer international program. So uh, currently we are in collaboration with many uh, renowned uh, world universities like the Ghent University in Belgium, uh, Carlton University in Canada, and also the uh, University of uh, Illinois at Urbana-Champaign in, in the USA. Uh, for the summer international program, we have a regular program with Wayne State University in the U.S. They uh, send students and uh, professors to our college, to our college, to uh, teach courses and to uh, co collaborate, to communicate with our students, to um, uh, bring the to bring the uh, U.S. USA uh, university classroom to our college. And we also have a, a strong collaboration with the California Polytechnic State University, also in uh, the San uh, Luis Obispo in the US. So uh, about the language learning that if, uh, for you guys, if you are worried about that, you are not uh, expert in uh, Chinese speaking, that you are, not, uh, you are not alone because many other people are still uh, worried about that because China, you know, we are a Chinese speaking language country, but uh, don't worry about that. We have, uh, you know, equipped you with a three year Chinese program that you can benefit from. And uh, also we help, we could help you pass the HSK or cultural courses if you are stick in the three years program. So we have uh, many um, industrial collaborations with the uh, local companies, as uh, have mentioned by the College of International uh, Study, that we have a strong tie with the local manufacturing and the local service and even local financial and the internet companies like Alibaba, like Zhejiang Electromechanical Group, Haitian Group, and the Zhejiang Mechanical and Electronic Design Research Institute, etc. So here we have uh, uh, shared with you several student innovation uh, products, and uh, I don't think that we have enough time. So we just uh, show you the uh, self-design and the assembled electronic, uh, electric F4 formula race car here. We have a short clip for you to see.
Okay, so uh, we also have other inventions and uh, student innovations uh, like the race car. Um, you know, due to the limit of time, we will skip that. We we'll jump to the other slide. We have uh, organized and uh, uh, received many uh, in a, you know the national and the international uh, challenge cup and the mechanical design national competition award, like national second prize and national Innov innovative gold medal in the past three years. And I hope that if you can uh, participate and also uh, you know, uh, be, a be a part of this, you can benefit and also you, you will ach uh, achieve the same goals as the past the students. And we also uh, achieved many like pre provincial college student mechanical design competition awards and like the five, uh, five first prizes and the four second prizes in the past. So, uh, yeah, as, as you, you might be interested that uh, we have a splendid campus life uh, uh, ahead uh, waiting for you. Uh, you can uh, attend, you know, the uh, uh, musical um, uh, concerts and uh, the gala that you have uh, uh, the students organized by themselves and, uh, uh, you know, to play the guitar, uh, the violin and also sing a song uh, in your native language, which are all welcome. Uh, so. Uh, don't don't be afraid. Uh, don't be don't be worried about not um, being alone in a foreign country. You are not alone. Uh, actually, we have plenty of uh, activities organized for you. So uh, we have other like cultural and sports activities organized for our students in the College of Mechanical Engineering. And you can see that uh, uh, we uh, because we are in Hangzhou, uh, we are now experiencing a very fast developing digital. Uh, a transformation of the society that you can be part of this. You can also uh, uh, have the opportunity to experience the uh, Asian, Oli Asian Olympic Games next year around around the, uh, August or September. So um, oh, we are, you know, College of Mechanical Engineering is the west side of Hangzhou, so we are very near to the uh, famous Alibaba Corporation that if you are interested, you can apply for internship uh, there uh, because they are uh, very welcome uh, foreign faces into their company. So that's a, a golden opportunity for you guys. And we also have the, uh, uh, you know, the very cozy dormitory and the very delicious food provide canteens inside the campus. You don't have to move outside of campus to looking for anything. You just uh, feel comfortable inside the campus. You can have the, you know, the um, very, very comfortable, comfortable uh, dormitories and uh, cafeterias. So we also um, make, uh, make a very great, uh, you know, great ceremony, like the commencement for the students that after they, after they graduate, uh, you know, uh, the, on the upper right, Picture is our professor Jin Wuqin, and who who have just uh, delivered a talk here, and uh, she uh, uh, just uh, you know um, bestowed the uh, the degree to uh, uh, foreign students this year. So uh, the students are very happy. They invite their friends, their family over uh, to attend the commencement. So I think that uh, if you are if you select our college, you will also experience the same uh, wonderful experience. So uh, that's all for the presentation. Thank you very much and welcome to the College of Mechanical Engineering in ZJUT in the coming year. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Professor Peng. It's very impressive presentation and I hope uh, students, you uh, have a better understanding of the College of uh, mechanical engineering and welcome to apply for our school for the programs and the uh, next part uh, I think most of you are very interested in our scholarships so I'd like to show you another video uh, introduction of our scholarships uh, about what kind of scholarships we have and how to apply for them okay I'm gonna share my screen now
Hello, I'm Hannah from Admission Office. Today, I'd like to share the information about scholarship to you. We have four kinds of scholarships for new students: Chinese Government Scholarship, Zhejiang Provincial Government Scholarship, ZGUT Scholarship for new students, and Confucius Scholarship. First. I will talk about the Chinese government scholarship. It is used to sponsor international students, teachers, and scholars to study and conduct research in Chinese university. It can be divided into full scholarship and partial scholarship. All students are interested in the full scholarship because it almost covers all the expenses when you study in China, including tuition fee, accommodation fee, medical insurance, and stipend. And another one, partial scholarship, only covers one or some items of the full scholarship. You can scan the QR code to get more details. So, how to apply it? You should log in the CSE website and upload all application materials. Please note that the program category is Type B, and the agency number is one zero three three seven. Usually, the application deadline for CSE scholarship is the middle of April. We will start. To review all students' materials from May, then the results will be checked again by CIC. If you get the scholarship, you can receive the admission letter and notice in the summer holiday. To be honest, it would be a little difficult to get CIC scholarship. Well, don't worry. We also provide Zhejiang Provincial Government scholarship. And university scholarship that is more accessible. The Zhejiang Provincial Government Scholarship sponsors students who are studying at or applying to study at higher education institutions in Zhejiang Province. Usually, current students will be considered first. If there are some places left. We will offer them for new students. The amount of scholarship is different for master degree and bachelor degree. If you want to know more details, you can scan the QR code. Zhejiang University of Technology Scholarship is established to encourage more excellent international students to study at ZGUT. We will make some adjustments. For university scholarship every year, but you can refer to this year. There are four levels from high to low: excellence scholarship, merit scholarship, friendly scholarship, and encouragement scholarship. All above scholarships are given to degree program students. About evaluation criteria. We mainly focus on the following aspects: transcript, language certificates, study experience in China, other honor certificates, well conducted with no illegal or criminal record. So, when you apply, please upload more useful certificates to show your abilities. The application deadline is about the end of July. We will notify the students who get scholarship once a month. Next, I will show you how to apply the university scholarship. First, you should submit the application materials on our official website. As soon as the status of your application become pre-accepted in the system. Just like this image, your application materials will automatically go through the process of scholarship assessment. It will take a month 
for your application to be processed. We will call you or email you if you get it. Then please send the deposit receipt to this email address. I scholarship at zgut.edu.cn and upload to online application system at the same time. The last step is sending your ICBC or ABC bank card information to this email address again. You will get scholarship in December. The last one is Confucius Scholarship. This program contributes to building an international talent pool for Chinese language teachers by helping outstanding young people to study in China. There are two kinds of programs, degree program and short-term study in China. If you are studying at Overseas Confucius Institute, welcome to apply for our university. Here is an online application website. You can register and submit your application materials online. In early, the application deadline for September intake is the beginning of May, and for March intake is the beginning of November. The Confucius Scholarship also covers all expenses when students study in China, just like CIC scholarship. Okay, that's all. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for your time to watch this video, and welcome to apply for ZGUT. Okay, I think that's all for our today's meeting, and uh, it's time for you to uh, for us to answer your questions, actually. Uh, so uh, we're gonna start from the beginning. Uh, let's see the questions. Yeah, also, if you have any question for Professor Jing and Professor Pei, please also leave your message on the chat box. And we will reply one by one. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have undergraduate program, uh, mechanical engineering in English. You can apply on our official website to do the application online. We also have civil engineering in English for undergraduate program. How can I see this? Uh, someone is asking, you have already got the e-offer and want to pay the application fee. Uh, you have a friend in China, but not in Hangzhou. Uh, you can pay, you can deposit the money to our school account uh, in anywhere in China. Mm. Via your mobile phone or computer. It's very easy. Mm. You can also go to the bank. Scholarship. Uh, yes, uh, we offer uh, the GUT scholarship for international students, so you can apply. The application deadline is the end of July. No, sorry, we don't have master program of... Uh, yeah, then dentistry. No, we don't have it. Can you give me the books to go with this book? Uh, scholarship is available for all degree programs.
how can we register? Uh, you, you can register on our website to do the online application. PhD. Uh, we don't have many PhD programs in English. Uh, you can find it on our website and uh, we don't have these uh, biology programs. Uh, we don't have medicine programs. Sorry. Oh, we have uh, electrical engineering and automation in English for undergraduate program. Just as civil engineering postgraduate. Uh, for civil engineering postgraduate program, we only have it in Chinese, so you should have HSK, which is Chinese proficiency certificates. Yes, you can apply for scholarship without else, but you, you have to hold a high score in your transcript. <laughs> Uh, how can someone apply for our programs? Like I said, uh, you should do the application online. And please let me show you our website, our contacts. Okay, this is our contact, phone number, email address for admission, email address for scholarships, and the website for uh, application. Yes, where you can do the online application. These are the social media accounts, which you can follow. Okay, you can take a picture or screenshot. Okay, let's continue the question. Uh, we don't have full scholarship actually. So now you can only apply for the GUT scholarship and I will explain the details about the GUT scholarship. Uh, there are four levels. The first level named uh, uh, Excellence Scholarship, which covering four years tuition fee. And the second one named uh, uh, Merit Scholarship, which covering one year tuition fee. And the third one named uh, uh, Friendly Scholarship, which covering one semester tuition fee. And the last one named Encouragement Scholarship uh, is 3,500 RMB. Can you, uh, you want to apply for like a postgraduate uh, program in mechanical engineering, right? I think we only have um, 
undergraduate program and PhD programs in English and the master's program for uh, mechanical engineering is in Chinese only this year. Maybe next year uh, we can open it in English. What we'll cover in the GUT scholarship? I think uh, Ms. Hannah just explained yeah, the details of the GUT scholarship. A scholarship is available now and the application is open now. Deadline would be the end of next month. So please this month. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the end of this month. So please do the application as soon as possible. Can you cost the reading plan? Can you write my number on next year? Okay. Uh, if you are still uh, processing your, uh, you know, still studying uh, undergraduate program and uh, not graduated yet or not get an, uh, the graduation certificate yet, you can get a pre uh, graduation certificate from your university to do the application. Yes, you can apply for scholarship without uh, TOEFL or else. You can provide other kind of uh, certificates. Uh, you can show your uh, English level or Chinese level. Yeah, the, the more documents, the better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you want to apply for next year, I think you should wait uh, till we open the application for next year. Mm -hmm. I think it would be at the end of this year in November or December. Yeah, like we already explained, if you want a full scholarship, you can apply from CSC website. But the application mm. for CSC scholarship uh, for this year is closed. So you can apply for next year. Medical, sorry, we don't have medical courses. Program. Yeah, we have non-engineering uh, graduate program. We we are a comprehensive university. We offer like uh, uh, economics and law and uh, other programs, not only engineering programs. Uh,有同学问申请孔子学院奖学金，一定要。学习过国内的孔子，不不一定，你可以是在国外的孔子学院来递交申请。Uh, we have business management for PhD program in English. HSK certificate. Uh, HSK certificate is a must for you to apply for our uh, Chinese language program. Uh, biology. Biology uh, programs are all in Chinese at the moment, I think. 
do you accepting students outside China? Yes, we are accepting students outside China, but uh, next semester, I think it would still be online uh, class until we get, got the latest news from the government. Sorry, we, we don't have mathematics for bachelor degree. No, the scholarship doesn't cover the uh, travel expense. That line would be the end of this month. Uh, you can watch our recording on our YouTube. Yo can we manage to pay for applications while you are in your own home countries? You could do the wild transfer. Through the bank. Pharmaceutical for masters. Uh, requirements. Um, I think you can get detailed requirements on our website. Um, for a master's degree, you should like graduate successfully from your uh, undergraduate program and get uh, two recommendation letters from professors or associate professors and other documents like your passport page and uh, health certificates, non-criminal record certificates. What about computer science? Yes, we have computer science and technology for undergraduate program in English. Yeah, we have PhD in uh, business management in English. Level B. Uh, if you apply for uh, undergraduate programs in Chinese, then uh, you should have HSK4. And if it's for postgraduate program, HSK5, PhD program, HSK6. Application process is, I don't think it's hard for you. It's an online application and you just fill in the application form and upload required documents and submit, that's all. And you will get the uh, reply. You can check your application status on our, on our system in three or five working days to know the results, if you can be accepted or not. Uh, fee structure, uh, I think you can find the details on our website. Yeah, the, the tuition standard for all the programs in Chinese or in English. Uh, yes, we accept uh, West Africa Senior High School Certificate examination results. So, if, uh, the application fee is 400 RMB. 400. Yes, uh, application fee 400. But uh, if you get pre admitted, uh, you should pay 1,400 because uh, another 1,000 is a part of the school fee, like deposits, to make sure you will come. So we, we only accept online application. You don't need to send us email. Uh, 
Uh, if your mother language is English, you don't have to uh, have TOEFL or else uh, results. Yeah, you can apply directly on our uh, website. How can we apply for internship? Uh, first of all, you should be one of our students, right? And uh, mm, like in the third year or fourth year, you will be able to, you know, get the chance to get the uh, internship in our big companies like Huawei or Alibaba. Scholarship. This structure, please see it on our website. Sorry, if you apply for the bachelor degree, uh, you, you must apply for uh, the program taught in Chinese. Uh, for that scholarship. If you are not able to speak Chinese, uh, then the CSC will offer like one year uh, Chinese learning. No, just for type A. If, you're, mm -hmm. if you apply for type B, you, you, you have to uh, have HSK, HSK4, I think. So the CSA scholarship is very hard to get it. <laughs> oh, sorry, we don't have English language and uh, for masters or PhD. Physics, not in English. Oh, we don't have master program in uh, computer science and technology for this year, maybe next year. Yes, yeah. of course. Uh, uh, it, it, even you attend to our online courses, you, you, you have chance to get our scholarship. PR. <laughs> Oh. Uh, right now, we have no idea when the borders will open. Um, we're still waiting for the latest news from the government. And uh, I think it would be very soon because we are all taking vaccines, you know, inside China or outside China. So I think it would be very soon. And uh, let's just be patient. Of yes, we have Faculty of Humanities, but uh, they are offering uh, programs in Chinese only. So you 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 must have HSK. Yes, the business management uh, for PhD uh, is taught in 
Yeah, oh, I have already explained the pro process to do the application. I think that's all the question. And uh, do you have any question for Professor Jing and Professor Pei about the uh, mechanical engineering program? Uh, such as electrical metal. Uh, yeah, one one student is asking uh, for engineering majors such as uh, mechanical. How will you deal with courses that require to go to the lab? How will they um, catch up once in China? Once in China. 就可能就是现在他们上不了实验，对，然后就是他们到中国来怎么样跟上他们的这个进度，上这个实验各种就行。呃，we well, students couldn't, you know, finish all experiments required. So if the uh, coronavirus still, you know, uh, still spreading and you couldn't come to China in these several years, then we will use the other courses to, you know, to replace these experiments. But if just, you know, just in the first uh, or second years, you couldn't come to China. Then we can move to experiment to the, you know, the, the third year or fourth year to, mm -hmm. you know, to redo or just uh, you know, do these experiments. After you finish the course, you just, you know, make up to these uh, experiments. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> You're welcome. I just graduated from class. What programs? Um, since we don't have biological science for a master's program, I think you can apply for um, business management or applied economics um, or try other programs. Because we're gonna send your documents to the college teachers to see whether you can be accepted. Uh, it depends. So um, I I am not be I cannot be one hundred percent sure that you can be admitted or not. But you can have a try. Yeah, we, we offer scholarship the GUT scholarship for all the degree program. So whatever you which. <laughs> You, you, you apply. Oh, you complete your bachelor degree in English and you want to apply for a master and you don't have to provide the language certificate. Okay, that's, I think that's the last question. Uh, if you don't have any more questions, uh, we will close today's meeting. And uh, um, let me show you our contacts again. So uh, after the meeting, uh, you're welcome to apply on our official website and uh, send us emails about your question. Yeah, this is our contact.
this is the website where you can do the application online. And thank you again for joining us today. Uh, we are looking forward to have you in our university in the future. And thank you, Professor Jing and uh, Professor Pei to give us such an uh, impressed uh, presentation. Thank you very much for today's presentation. Okay, let's say uh, goodbye to students. <laughs> okay, bye. Have a good day. Have a good day. Yeah, have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.